Hey, my name is Brian, one and a half of Cooper and O'Hara. I'm here in our Edmonton studio today. Uh, behind me is a corner set that we've built and we use for a bunch of shoots. Uh, but today I'm gonna show you guys lighting breakdown on how we made this photo. Good thing she peed in there, maybe she won't do it in there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. A shame, think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. You blame things that you do. So let's dive in. I have an image up here that shows all of the lighting in our set. So we can kind of break it down that way. Uh, starting with the key light here. Next, we have a fill light here. We have two practical lights as well right here. And then our background light, uh, which has an interesting add-on that we'll touch on when we get to there. And then lastly, we have this quasar light, which we sometimes used as just a focusing light and other times we used as a little bit of accent light. So I'll talk about that briefly when we get to that. We like to shoot things um, really dark and moody and this was a great example of that. Um, but if you just have everything fall off to dark, it doesn't have the same interest where your eye can move around the frame and learn little bits and see little things of interest. So a big thing for us is just being able to have something that feels more organic, like there's actual ambient light within the space, it's a lot less like a, a flash um, just going off and blasting light at a subject and it feels like it's more of a well-rounded, balanced exposure. So that's what's uh, gonna be something to keep in mind as we break through different lights here and what they might be doing in the scene. The key light here is an Octobox and we also have a grid on it. So it's sort of this like egg crate honeycomb thing that just Velcro's in there. And what those are useful for is to focus the light. So it doesn't just scatter everywhere. We really want it to fall on him. And in particular, it even falls off um, and you know, it makes it so that his chest and his head is nicely lit, but then the light falls off a little bit darker, it creates this interesting spotlight. Next, we have a Fotex soft lighter as our fill light. Love this light so much, it's super versatile. We've talked about it in other lighting breakdowns as well. So these two lights are working in tandem and we like to do that a lot where we kind of have a bit of a wrapping light where it's not just one single light source but kind of positioning two so that they, they carry and create an interesting wrap of light around with just some fine tuned control over where the brightest spots on the person are. Next, we have these practical lights. Now, practical lights is a term that's used a lot in cinematography jargon. It essentially means a light that you might see all of or part of in the frame. Now, this tube light overhead here, uh, it's not really practical because we did kind of cut it off and crop it off, but it was meant to emulate some sort of an interesting ceiling light fixture or something that would be in the space. Now, we warmed it way up so that it has some color contrast and interest to it um, compared to say like his navy suit and the blue tone on the walls. And that way again, it makes it feel more like it's an actual light source that exists in the space instead of it just being like a photo, uh, photo set. It's, it's meant to actually look like a, a practical light source. So the next one we have here is a regular lamp but we put a smart bulb in it so that we could dim it down to just the right light level so it's not you know, overexposed. You have nice detail and it's this warm, little warm glow. 
And uh, again, we warmed up the color temperature to match that quasar tube so that they feel like, again, part of the scene. Next over here, we have a background light. And uh, interesting enough, we have this Fresnel adapter from Aperture that we use on our video lights, and it allows you to create a very focused beam of light. Now, the funny thing is, it actually is a Bowens mount, just like all of our um, photo flashes. So one day we decided to just pop it on and see if it would work with the flashes as well, and it does. So we have this uh, zoomed in because uh, you can basically rotate and adjust how tight the beam is. And we also have a foam core uh, just kind of going in front of it and that prevents it from being just like a circular spotlight and makes an actual shape with it having like a bit of a line to it. And that was just again to add some visual interest to make it feel like, you know, there's light maybe coming through a skylight or a window or from somewhere else and it's just casting on the wall there. Next we have this quasar tube. We shot the sheep separately um, because of their schedule and because of the CEO's schedule um, and the limited time that we had and you know it just being something that was easier to be able to control and position the sheep exactly where we wanted it. Um, but we did use this quasar to you know just holding it overhead to you know add a little bit of accent light just to get the right shape of light on the sheep. Uh, same with the uh, nightstand. Uh, next to the bed there, we wanted to get a little bit of sheen on the wood to just make it pop. So again, sometimes it's just nice to have a focusing light to be able to get really, really tack sharp photos in a darker studio setting. So we used it for that as well. All right, so that's our lighting that went into this shot. If you guys have any questions, uh, just let us know in the comment section below. Again, links to the description for all the different lights and things that we use so you guys can find those if you're interested. If you guys have any other photos that you see on our social media, Instagram or website portfolio that you want us to break down too, just let us know. We'd love to make content like that for you guys. Lastly, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate all your support and uh, love making this content for you guys. So stay tuned for more. Thank you and take care.